So you wanna optimize your images for your website by using WebP format. You need to make sure you do this one thing in your HTML to make sure that the most amount of people can view your image without any kind of breaking because browser support is still not quite up to par. Let's jump right into the HTML. So we have an image and it's the logo and here is what it looks like. If we look at the stats though, we can see logo PNG, that is coming in around 28 kilobytes. And honestly, this can be fixed by using WebP. You do of course need to make sure that you actually have a WebP version of your same image. If you don't know how to create a WebP version, check out the video in the card for a Python script to automate this process for you. Now, I can't just come in here and change this to WebP because even though my browser, it's gonna work, you can see now we've got that awesome 12 kilobytes instead of 28. The problem is if I were in a different browser or an older version of a browser that doesn't have support for WebP, this image is gonna be broken. How do we fix that? We are gonna jump back into the code, fix this up. All you actually have to do is surround this image inside of what's called picture element. And we're gonna add one thing up above here. It's called source. And what we need to do is have a type of image slash WebP, because that's the kind of image we're gonna be using if the browser accepts WebP. And we're gonna use the source set attribute. And this is where we're going to send it that path to the WebP image. So logo.webp this time. And what's gonna happen here is the browser's gonna say, hey, I support WebP, that's great. So I'm gonna load this instead of the PNG. And it will still honor any attributes that were set on this. For example, your alt tag, if you happen to have that, we can add it just so you can see. Not the greatest alt tag, but that's a discussion for another video. And also any other classes or styles will be respected based on whatever's in this image tag. However, since we are saying, hey, use the WebP if you know what I'm talking about, any other browser that doesn't know what, an, what a WebP image is or doesn't support it yet, we'll just ignore this and use this PNG as a fallback. So if I hit save one more time, if we refresh, we are still using, yes, that wonderful WebP with that awesome 12 kilobyte file size. However, we can rest assured if for some reason a user is coming to our website and doesn't have the browser support for that image, it's still gonna show up correctly as that logo. Dot PNG. If you need help with your image optimization to make sure that your load times aren't drowning in your image file sizes, check out this video for the ultimate guide on image optimization for the web.